Okay. I just. I know, I know. This is not about corn dog purr. This, I, you know, I need to talk to you a little bit about. Where do I look? See, that's the thing. Okay, I got. Let me show you something. Let me show you. I'm gonna show you. I need to talk about Hollenega a little bit. Hollenega. Holy shit! You know what they say. Magic happens when you get out of the comfort zone. All right, let me show you Hollenega. All right, now this is Hollenega right there. Okay, there's Holla. See this right here? Now I'm a car guy, so I'm gonna get. This is Hollenega right here. Check this out. Now there's. Let me go back around, cause you know there's. I use that expression a lot. People are like, I think he's a racical, like motherfucker. He's like racist as fuck. Check this out. Now this is Hollenega. There's Holla. And there's Holla Nigga. Okay, what's the difference? You're like, okay, well, let me kind of walk back to the truck and listen to my music and explain to you guys what the fuck is Holla Nigga. Okay, there's Holla. And then there's Holla Nigga. Oh, you're like, you better fucking explain it because it sounds racical as fuck to me. And I just not even going to put up with that because, you know, we all know that if you're talking about Jesus, you begin, you got to be talking about brothers. Okay, now, sometimes you just got to see Holla Nigga to know it because you might misunderstand me. I'm looking, I, you know, I'm walking, I'm going to go do some corn dog, and then, oh, shit, man, I'm going to have to explain holla nigga to some people and hope I don't piss people off because that's such those are sacred words to me you know I'm looking here you can see look at this look this is where I'm looking look at that extraordinary that's how you have to say it that's very San Fran by the way that's very La Jolla that's where I'm at La Jolla okay but I gotta explain to you La, ha- La Jolla La Jolla is very holla nigga now okay see I think the best way to explain it is the, a Ferrari 488. I just saw one of those. Like, I'm a car guy. And so, you know, there are cars, and then there's Hala. And that's like a Porsche. And then there's like a, the Porsche I just showed you is a Hala Nigga. Um, and when I say Nigga, I mean the highest, the highest form of something. So, you know, there's... There's two types of niggas. There's a nigga of, that's the highest, that's the Christ. You know, like there's Jesus and then there's Christ. And in his perfection, he became Christ. So there's Jesus, the person, then he became the Christ, which is a title. He became the Hala nigga. And then you're like, what? So when I think of, when I say the, when I say nigga, I don't mean it like in the Tim Tebow way. You know, like when Tim Tebow says nigga, he doesn't mean it in a in a in a in an honoring, devoted holla like this is like awesome. Like that Porsche I just showed you is is awesome. Now like you know, there's like you know, this is Toyota's, you know, that's what I drive. That's holla. Love, love, love Toyota. That's holla nigga right there. This is Holla Nigga. You know, Richard Pryor was a Holla Nigga of comedy. Um, Seinfeld right now is the is the nigga. I mean, again, this is not said in a Tim Tebow. There's the hard R like the Sean Hannity Fox News, and then there's nigga. You know, there's there's who's the guy with Dub Nation right now? You know, there's there's the basketball player that's the most popular. Then there's the holla. Those are hollas. Like, but then there's the holla nigga, which is that's Michael Jordan, dude. That's who you name your child after. You know, there's pretty girls everywhere. But man, you'll see a you'll see a beautiful, beautiful woman, and you're like, dude, that's nigga. So when I say holla nigga, I mean that is the highest form. By the way, this is a 488, 660 horsepower, 205. Man, and I got in one of those uh, just. You know, at the dealership is so cool. In fact, I did a little video of it. It's, I mean, it's an amazing car. In fact, uh, look at my Twitter. Go to at Fibonacci. 
But you know, I want to. There's a lot of things I'm supposed to bring on this channel other than just jokes. Jokes, and I got jokes, baby. Some of them may even be funny. But I got to be very candid and more open and talk about. When I say holla nigga, dude, that's holla nigga. This the 488 is a holla nigga. It's the highest, highest form, not the hard R, Tim Tebow, Fox News, disrespectful way. I'm gonna kind of close out. Look at that. That's such a beautiful car. Beautiful. Nigga, it's beautiful. It's the highest. The Christ. You know, if you want to see an example of of a sports example of Holla Nigga is, um, you know, everybody knows I love documentaries. I love, um, you know, um, but go watch, go watch the Bo Jackson 30 by 30. Okay. Remember in comedy or in jokes, you can always make fun of your own people. Um, you know, like I'll make fun of Jews. I'm not a Jew. Jonathan Fibonacci, I'm not a Jew, but you know, I I think Jew, the, the Jews are a chosen a chosen group of people. And yeah, you know, I'll poke fun of them and make fun of them, and you know, but at the same time, they're holla nigga, dude. I mean, like the way they do um, things is just amazing. It's amazing. You know, they um, that group of people, their their culture, their heritage, they are unmistakably amazingly gifted, brilliant people. In fact, I was at a comedy store in, uh, in, in L.A. At the, at, I was at the comedy store, and this guy, you know, and he's a Jew, and, and he's like, yeah, we're the chosen people! And I'm like, dude, I get it, I get it, I get it. Yeah, you are. You know, and I'm like, and, you know, then there's, there's Jonathan, holla, you know. I'm just holla. Johnny holla. And I just, you know, I, want, I wanted to say, dude, just, I would love for, I would love for the Jewish comedians to have comedy that doesn't talk about their Jewish roots you know most jewish comics out there right now they start like well my name's my name's jacob and i'm a jew and like we get it and a lot of jewish culture a lot of jewish comedy is built upon the jewish experience and i'm like no i mean um you know so like again i i while i'll, I'll poke, poke fun at the jewish people i also have tremendous amount of respect for them and there's again they're chosen people and i also think uh, you know the african-american they're chosen they're chosen and i think um you know i think um, you know, you can call it racist, whatever you want. I, I think um, there's certain groups of people that are literally just chosen for brilliance, brilliance. Uh, and I think the African American um, uh, people, um, the group, you know, the My Angelos. I mean, this, this is brilliant, 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 um, gorgeous people. Uh, the wisdom of Maya Angelo. In fact, I've said before in a joking way, but there's truth in jest. You know. Any problem you have, you can Google my Angelo quote and solve 90% of your problems. 90% of your problems. And, um, you yeah, that's no joke. I mean, that's brilliance. I mean, how many people can you really do that? So, like, next time you go through a problem, next time you have a challenge, Google my Angelo quote and just like, that's Holly Nigger right there. That's beautiful. That's, that's, she's the queen. Beyonce is the queen. Uh, now, her husband... Jay-Z, again, he's a brilliant guy, but he kind of sold out his people. Anyway, back to Bo Jackson, 30 by 30, I want to wrap this up. But I wanted to explain to you, when I say nigga, I mean, I mean it as though I'm saying the Christ. The Christ. You know, Jesus became the Christ. I mean it as, a, as, a, as an utter, utter compliment uh, of respect. Like that Porsche I just saw, that's, that's holla nigga. You know, when I talk about a, a, a guy waking up in La Jolla, California, flying his v vintage, um, waking up, having his coffee, um, fly, and then, then going and flying his vintage World War II aircraft around the, the La Jolla area. Now, that's Hala Nega. That's, now, that, that guy, that's a Bala. That's a Bala Hala, right? Um, and, you know, because all, I, all you have is just my spoken word, sometimes I want to I wanna be clear that I don't offend people because I mean that as a term of respect. Um, Bo Jackson, I mean, go watch that 30 by 30 with him and go watch how he um, dominated athletics and sports. And, you know, my favorite part of that documentary is when he's like, he's just a, such a humble, humble man. And by the way, 30 by 30, that, that's, that series is, that's Holla Nigga right there. That's a brilliant series of documentaries. It, it's art. It's art form. And I don't think it gets enough credit, but the Bo Jackson one, the, the Bosworth, Bosworth was the Holla Nigga at one point. You know, these are... You know, you don't get much higher than Bosworth. In fact, I mean, has, has Bosworth been eclipsed? Has there been any, 
college athlete that has done more than Bosworth? No, he's Hollenegger. Anyway, go, let's, go, let's go to Bo Jackson. Bo Jackson, look at how he dominated sports. I mean, just at will. I mean, that's above above my people, but above the white people. I mean, so, you know, I think, we, I think comedy is getting so fucking PC and everybody's so afraid of offending people. And I think when comedy does that, it loses some of its power. Comedy is about truth. And when I say Hollenig, I mean that with, you know, that's Bo Jackson. That's Michael Jordan. That's uh, the Ferrari 488. All right, you guys be good. I'm going to go to the river and pray. Holla.